G'day everyone and welcome back to our paranormal world. In this video we have a heartwarming story of a grieving family who were visited by an apparition they believe is the spirit of their deceased son and brother. In January 2019, Jennifer Bryant Hodge from Atlanta, Georgia posted a remarkable image on Facebook taken from an alert from a Nest security camera inside her home. Jennifer says that at nearly midnight on the 5th of January 2019, she and her daughter were in bed, alone in the home and watching a movie when she received a notification which informed them someone was in the kitchen. Now, I can't imagine how terrifying receiving that notification must have been for them, but their initial fright soon turned to confusion when Jennifer's daughter looked at the image and said, Mum, there's a person in the kitchen. Mum, that looks like Robbie. Jennifer says that when she looked at the picture, she was shocked. It did look like her son, Robbie, including his beard. The Hodge family lost Robbie in 2016, at only 23 years old, when he accidentally overdosed on what everyone believes to be fake Xanax. Robbie was battling with depression, anxiety and addiction, and he and his mother Jennifer had even set up a charity, Realty for Rehab, in 2014, which promotes a network of aligned realtors who donate 33% of their agent commissions to funding drug treatment programs and accredited drug recovery organisations. Robbie died from a massive overdose of benzodiazepines. His mother says he had simply taken one of these fake Xanax pills. On the night of the 5th of January 2019, when the ladies ran downstairs to check the kitchen, they found there was no one there and no signs of anyone having entered the home. Jennifer later commented that she feels as though it was Robbie, letting her know he is happy in heaven and that the image has brought her some comfort, but she still thinks it's a bit weird. She says she has never seen a ghost before and hasn't had anything like this happen since. She also added that she would love to see other people's camera footage where people might look transparent like this. But if this isn't the spirit of Robbie, then who was it in her kitchen that night? And you have to admit the figure does look like her son Robbie, complete with his trademark beard. Jennifer has received a lot of support online, especially from other families who have lost loved ones and felt or even seen their presence. Jennifer has also received local, national and international commendations for her work on Realty for Rehab and continues to work on assisting addicts towards recovery in the name of her son Robbie and any family who has lost a loved one to addiction. And I wanted to bring you this story because it is great in so many ways. Not only did a grieving family receive comfort after viewing this image, but it also highlights the global pandemic of addiction and the simple acts of kindness and commitment ordinary people can make to help other people along their road to recovery. And, well, it is also a brilliant image of what I think will probably be me in the afterlife, heading into the kitchen at midnight for a lovely little snack. Stay safe, everyone, and I wish Jennifer Hodge and her family all the best with their amazing work. Thank you so much for watching this video. I do hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and perhaps even consider sharing it to your networks. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon and set the notifications to all so you can stay up to date with all of the latest paranormal content on this channel. I'll see you next time.